Welcome to a new video again in English about this beautiful 1936 Triumph Norm in I hope you can see it well. It's wine red. It's pretty dark but if you have a close look it's red. A beautiful color, also pretty rare here in Germany and all around the world I guess. But yes, I have one in this color tone in beautiful condition. As you can see the typewriter is in great condition, the paint has no damages at all, maybe here is one small damage but there's nothing more. So it's in pretty nice condition and it's also typing very very well. And yes, in this video I will present it to you and yes, let's just start. As you can see I still have the typewriter on the bottom of the case. And that's, that has a really good reason because, as you can see, I have new rubber feet on the case, or the bottom of the case. But the typewriter, of course, the feet of the typewriter are in very, very bad condition. So, I don't want to say something bad about the construction because I guess I wouldn't have done it better. But the construction is pretty bad because, as you can see, the rubber feet, oh, it's already falling off. Because you put the holes of the rubber feet, these holes, on this and then you can just close it. And as you can see there's a spring, that's, this thing is spring loaded and it always puts pressure on the rubber feet of the typewriter. So after 87 years the feet don't really look like they looked many many years ago. And the condition is really really bad so you can't really use the feet anymore. You have to keep the typewriter on the case, on the bottom of the case, so you can use it better. But this is mostly the only damage the typewriter has and of course it comes with the time and you can't really do something about it, but yes, it just happens. So you just close the typewriter with those little hooks down here, next to the space bar, and then your typewriter is secured in the case. On the bottom of the case and you of course also have the bottom of the case you just put it on top and then you have to pull this circle down here to the right and it just closes the case the typewriter itself weighs about with the case 6.3 kilogram without the case just with the bottom of the case about 5.8 kilogram You just open it and then you can remove the cover of the, the top of the case. So let's go over to the functions. As you can see I have a Triumph Norm. This typewriter looks exactly like a Triumph Durable B and they are more or less just the same, just the sign is different. This Triumph Norm has a color switch on the left side. Some of the Triumph Durable typewriters don't have this color switch, so this machine is a bit more advanced than some Triumph Durable machines, but of course there are also Triumph Durables with a color switch and I guess also with the tab on the right side. Yes, as you can see, the carriage is not moving. There's a carriage release on the right side, carriage lock, and now you can move the carriage and start typing. My typewriter has no one and no zero. So you just use the small L or the up shifted O. Yes, on the left side and on the right side you have your shift keys and on the left side you also have your caps lock. Right above that you have your uh, margin release. And yes, that's mostly it. On the right side you have your backspace and on the bottom you have your spacebar. As you can see also the spacebar has the same color tone as the typewriter. Below the spacebar you have a printing that says Triumphwerke Nürnberg AG Nürnberg. Nürnberg is the city where the Triumph company was stationed, so there the typewriters were built there. So let's go over to the mechanics up here. You have two ribbon spools and a 30mm color ribbon. I have a completely black one because I can't find my black red one. It's laying around somewhere in any typewriter I have, but I can't find it yet. And yes, you switch your rewind direction with this little lever here. And yes, that's mostly it. There are no more functions here. Next to the platen you have your wire here, where you can see where the 
that is going to be printed and below that you have your below that you have your metal pieces that push your paper on the platen. As on the right carriage side you have a carriage release. You also have one on the left side, so there are two carriage releases. And you have your paper release right next to it. It's working pretty fine. And of course you have your right platen up here. On the on the platen you have your paper bale with two rollers made out of plastic. On the back you have your margins and those little windows where you can see where your margin is. So you don't have to turn your typewriter around to see where your margin is. And finally on the right side of your carriage you have your line spacer, your line spacing adjustment with 1, 1.5 and 2, so there are three adjustment positions and your right, uh, left hand platen knob. You can also pull it out and move it and you have this lever here, I don't know the English word for it, but if you push it to you, if you pull it, you can just turn the platen and as you can hear, it doesn't make the same noise as now. And yes, that's mostly it. Your serial number is down here next to the color switch. And yes, that's it with the typewriter. Let's go over to typing. Well, that's it with typing. As you can see, even for this age, the typewriter is typing really, really well, and you don't have to use a lot of force to type a letter. And that's what I really, really like. The carriage also moves very, very smooth to, for this age. So the machine is 87 years old, and yes, that's pretty old, of course. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching. See you the next time.